This is how people in Lévis are celebrating the lives of six-year-old Romy and 11-year-old Nora Carpentier. Families stop by, children leave notes, some of them knew the sisters. I wrote that I love them, she says. One woman is a friend of the girl's mother, who she says is still struggling to come to terms with what happened. The girl's bodies were found yesterday, three days after police say they were abducted by their father, Martin Carpentier. They were last seen Wednesday night at a convenience store shortly before his car was found crashed and abandoned not far away. On Thursday afternoon, police issued an Amber Alert. They've been searching for him ever since. We do not know exactly what kind of health condition he is. He could be armed. Police are focusing their search to this section of the woods near Saint Apollinaire. A resident near here reported seeing Carpentier yesterday. Police say they found objects they believe could help them find him, but they're restricting access to the area because of what happened yesterday. What happened yesterday night is that some people wanted to help. So they just heard a noise in the woods. And in fact, it was just a, a branch that, uh, that just broke up. That's it. But people just ran into their woods. We're talking about maybe 100 people. Police are searching on foot, ATVs, and with a helicopter. The forest is dense, the weather hot and wet. A different fluctuation in the weather. So we can say that if it's hard for us, it's hard for him too. Carpentier is a scout leader. Nora was a Cub Scout and Romy on her way to becoming a Beaver Scout. Autopsies will be performed on their bodies soon. Those information are really important because it's going to tell us the exact cause of the death for, the two, for both girls. Back at the growing memorial, grief as the community and those who knew the girls try to find a way forward. Verity Stevenson, CBC News, Saint-Apollinaire.